The next chapter this year has begun as I finish my time in Kabul and begin a new and unknown future in Morea. Very special announcement to make. We are back in Morea. This time it's gonna be me and Alec and we are out here for one whole month. Yesterday, we explored a little bit of Tahiti and the island of Tahiti. We went around Chopu and did some hikes around to some waterfalls. And now we have just arrived to Morea. We're gonna go check out the location, our surroundings, and play by ear basically. Wow, we have just made it to those waterfalls. It's like this secret hidden gem. It's unreal. I was not expecting this at all. We enjoy this waterfall a little bit. Today, we just got breakfast at a superstore. We got some chocolate croissants. They're amazing actually here. We don't have a car, so we're just gonna go and explore the land by foot. We're gonna head towards the, where are we going? Uh, it's a little beach on this west side. So yeah, we're going to the west side. That looks like where all the hotels are. And we're gonna try to find some like sick photography spots and just adventure, you know? I got the coconut out. It's gonna be amazing. This is as fresh as it gets. <laughs> Straight from the tree. After a full day of adventuring around the island, it was finally time to head out on our first of many whale tours. So on the beautiful day in Morea, no choppy waters, and we're out here looking for whales. Super fine, you never know, it's the ocean. Hey, what's up? Yeah, what's up? How was the first day in the ocean? Dude, it was sick. Uh, it took us a little while, but we actually found two whales and they were sleeping um, underneath the surface and then we waited in the water and once they woke up, they kind of like spread their wings. Bro, you gotta check it out. Here, come on. No way, I wanna see. An interesting fact about humpback whales is that they actually turn off half their brain to sleep while the other half is used to perform basic functions such as breathing and finning like what you see here. Now we're paddling out 
to this abandoned bungalow that kind of turned into a dive center. As you can see, nobody lives here anymore. It's decommissioned. It's where it used to be the old intercontinental. He's gonna go out and paddle around and I'm gonna shoot some drone videos. I'm actually out here on one of the bungalows. Another beautiful day in paradise guys. I'm out here by myself. Alec has work from home so I took the kayak today and I'm gonna be heading out to the lagoon on Sharks and Rays. The wind forecast is absolutely flat and the conditions right now are insanely glassy. Just take a look for yourself. It's literally like a mirror. It's like a lake out there. So I'm gonna be, my goal today is I'm gonna be looking for over and underwater shots of the Sharks and Rays. Um, we'll see how that turns. I think it's gonna be really, really good. Bro, your phone's blowing up. What, what's going on? I don't know, check it. Bro, Genevieve just told me she has a free space on her boat. You got five minutes to get out of here.